Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a quick video showing uh, how I would make a play using the promos available on tonight's NRL match and also how I would calculate the expected value of that play. So uh, we can see here on the new sports promo page that we've got a number of uh, match odds promos and multi promos and other promos available for NRL. As is the case uh, most weeks now, the best value is in the SGM and multi promos. Um, if you're not sure how to approach them, you should check out the Multis course. Uh, this video is going to focus on the match odds promos. So if I come down here, you can see these slightly lower EV options. Um, we've got Elite Bet, have got this lead at half time but lose promo and Real Bookie and Southern Cross are running the same one just with a different maximum bonus amount. And because all of these bookies are offering the exact same promo, it's actually really easy for us to work out the expected value. So with the, this type of promo, we want to know uh, what the probability of a team leading at halftime but losing is. And that's really easy because bookies have a market for that. They've got the halftime, full-time, double market. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to take a quick look at the odds and show you how I would put the play together. So I've got all these tabs already opened up here. Um, we can see that at Southern Cross and Elite Bet, the odds are exactly the same. They, they share odds. Um, so we've got 2.08 and 1.78. And Real Bookie has got different odds, and they're actually quite substantially different. So we're 196 and 185. So straight away, uh, I'm looking at that and thinking, I can touch that 2.08 on this side with the uh, 1.85 on this side. So I'm going to quickly put that in. I'm going to go with Southern Cross rather than Elite Bet because Elite Bet um, don't automatically make everyone eligible for their promos. So that's Southern Cross, and we're using Real Bookie. Fifty dollar max stake there, so I'll put that in, and that's going to mean that I've got a little bit of balancing to do. Uh, generally, when we're balancing the plays, I like to use Bet Three Six Five because they've got a promo on basically every game. Uh, they've got this early payout if you're lead, your team lead by 16 for NRL. Uh, you could use uh, any other bookie you wanted here. You could look for the best possible odds. Uh, you could use it as a mug bet, but I'm just going to throw in um, five bucks at a dollar seventy-seven just to balance this a little bit. So there we go. We've got a, a pretty evenly matched play, uh, a chance at two $50 bonuses, and also this very small early payout from Bet365. So the next thing I want to do is calculate the EV on this. Obviously, we don't want to be placing bets that have negative expected value. So to do that, I'm going to use the EV calculator on Bonus Bank, and I'm using the Dutching version of it. Um, and I can just put in my stake for Team A, so $50. I know the odds there were 2.08. And I'm using 1.85 on the other side. Now, obviously, this doesn't take into account the Bet365 stake, but I'm not too worried about that. That's um, a little extra bit of EV we're going to get from that Bet365. But the main focus of our play is these lead at half time but lose promos. So I've got this information here. Uh, I'm going to change the retention rate. Real Bookie and Southern Cross don't have the best odds, so I'm going to use 70, just so so it's an amount that I'm comfortable that we can get. The final thing that we have to figure out is the odds of that bonus hitting. So, as I said, all bookies have got um, half-time, full-time double market, so I've brought up Tab Touch here, um, and we've you can see for Newcastle Gold Coast, it's odds of 8, and for Gold, Gold Coast, Newcastle, 8.5. But obviously, we've got a bookie margin to factor in here. So for that, I'm using the true odds calculator. Uh, I've already plugged in these odds from Tab Touch. You can see it's just the same numbers here. From those odds, we can work out the implied probability and also the overround. So there's a 14, almost 15% overround on this market. And then the calculator figures out what the true probability is when you remove that over round and then the true odds. So in this case, the true odds of 
Newcastle Gold Course, they go from 8 up to 9.18. So that's the number I'm going to use in my EV calculation. And you can see that based on that, we've got an EV of $1.60. So that's not a lot. But we also have the reverse um, because we've got 50 on Real Bookie at 1.85. And there's a possibility that we can get the Gold Coast Newcastle um, bonus bet. So that one goes from 8.5 up to 9.76. I can put that in there. And that's also um, about a dollar sixty. So in total, we're looking at about three dollars and twenty in EV, without even considering the the bet three six five EV as well, which which wouldn't be much. Um, but I'm pretty confident with this now. We're getting over three dollars of EV, which might not sound like a lot, but this this is a type of promo where um, you just try and rack up that EV over time. The more of them that, that you do, the higher prof profits are going to be long term. And we can be confident that we factored in the margin there. So we know that this is a, a positive expected value promo. So it's definitely worth placing. And you can do this for basically every NRL game this weekend and probably for the next few weeks. These three bookies have been running the same promo for a while now. So we can expect them to continue running it. And you can use this approach to work out uh, the expected value of it and whether it's worth doing it on each individual game for yourself. Usually games like this one where we've got um, pretty evenly matched teams are going to have higher EV. If you ran this same calculation on um, this Melbourne Storm game, for example, or the, the Sea Eagles, I imagine that it would actually come out as negative or very, very low EV. But on these evenly matched games, um, it's definitely worth doing. So I hope that helps and good luck over the weekend. Cheers, guys.